Hey, Slowetsky here from Industry Analyst. I am joined today by Al Shabeta, uh, president, uh, president and CEO, I think, of Copier Effects Techno Business Technologies, located in Buffalo, New York, right down the street from me. How are you today, Al? Good morning, Andy. I'm doing good. Great to see you. Great to see you. How's Buffalo? How's your family? How's my buddy David, your son? Uh, and how are the rest of the Copier Facts people doing today? Everybody's doing good. We uh, obviously have made some modifications. And uh, a lot of our people are working remotely. Uh, we have about three or four people that come in to the office in the different divisions. All of our salespeople are all out remotely. And um, we're doing good. We're doing good. Everybody's healthy. Uh, you know, I got a lot of grandchildren. I got 10 with one more on the way. And uh, their parents are home with them. A couple of them are nurses. And uh, it's been a little hectic and a little frustrating and worrisome, but um, everybody's doing fine. Well, that's good to hear. Very good to hear. And uh, congratulations on the, uh, the new Shibeta that'll be coming in soon. I can't wait to meet him or her. Um, let's talk a little bit about your, uh, your service force, your big office technology uh, provider in Western New York. And you, know, you have outbound service people that are going into people's businesses, uh, in some cases, some critical businesses, keeping them running, keeping their uh, their office equipment, their collaboration equipment, their uh, uh, document management, data, all that stuff. So, uh, what are you doing to protect your people? Uh, make sure that they're safe, that the you know they're not exposed to anything that could be obviously dangerous in some of these situations. What are you? What kind of precautions are you guys taking? Well, um, first of all, our biggest vertical is healthcare. So, uh, while there's a lot of areas that are stalling a little bit, healthcare is, is very very active right now. So uh, from the point of the call coming in, we ask at that point if there are any restrictions at that facility, is there anything we should or shouldn't be doing? You know, we want to take their guidance. And um, if there aren't, uh, we also offer them uh, the ability for us to come in after five to do the service. If they don't want us to interface with their people, uh, we'll take the call after five. We're offering the same things for deliveries right now. Uh, and it's working actually, <clears throat> pardon me. So uh, once the fellows go in, they're equipped with gloves and with wipes. And um, as they're working on the equipment, they're making sure that um, they're wiping it down. They're making sure that they have the gloves on so they're not susceptible to anything. And um, we're making a very visual presentation in front of the client that that's what we're doing so that they know that we're taking the time to look after them and to, and to look after ourselves. And we've had people comment on it, that uh, you know, they appreciate the extra steps that we're taking. So from a service standpoint, actually we've, we were planning on like 90% reduction in our service calls. And the reality is we've only experienced about a 25% reduction in calls uh, because healthcare is our number one vertical. Uh, Education is a pretty good sized vertical and actually where we were expecting that to be like a lot of the BOCES offices and a lot of the schools themselves are now running packets to send home to the students. So our volume was actually going, <laughs> going up and um, Isn't it weird? interesting, but, uh, but the boys are, the boys are being careful and uh, we want them to be careful. So it's so, so far it's working out pretty good. Well, they have to be, and everybody has to be, and I'm glad to hear you're, you know, doing what you need to do to protect everybody and keep them safe. Uh, talking about your customers, you did mention healthcare is a biggie for you, and, and uh, that's clearly why your, your print volume has not dropped, as, um, as some of these interviews are showing that print volume is taking a big hit, while, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of dealers that we work with and that, that I talk to, um, they also offer managed services. So, you know, while one side of the house is maybe slowing down, the other side has been uh, picking up considerably as they're supporting customers. You guys, uh, if uh, well, I do remember because I posted it, I'm going to share it while you start talking about it. But uh, you, you have a, a Stay Connected initiative. Uh, you put out a press release last week. Tell me about that and, and what does that do for your customers? What, what, uh, what is that all about? Well, the Stay Connected initiative really all um, revolves around document intelligence, which is our umbrella that all of our items house uh, underneath. And uh, what State Connected really is, is it's an extension of DocuWare, uh, our document management program. 
where we can actually help the clients who are now in a position to have to work from home to be able to have access to all of their documents at the server level from home. And uh, even to the point where we will pick up uh, documents that if, if they have not been scanned into their system yet, we've got a back scanning division. We'll grab those boxes and we'll bring them back to our office. And we'll get them scanned in so that anybody who is working remotely has complete access to their system at, at work. Uh, it's not so much a hardware initiative, although some hardware you know, spills into it just because some of the people actually don't have anything at home. Yeah, sure. But, but for the people that do, this really is a document management initiative. And we've been getting some real good play. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Sal Kimberly from Conical and Alta saw it, noticed it, called us on it, and said he wanted to share it if we'd allow him to share it. He thought it was so great. That's awesome. So, so tell me more about that. So it's a, it's a, um, you mentioned Conica Minolta is part of that, and it's probably a lot of the scanning uh, piece of it. And then DocuWare is your, is your document management. Um, in today's environment, everybody being remote, files, uh, difficulties in sharing things right now. Tell me how this helps your customers. What does this do for them? Well, a lot of those customers will sit at their desk, and if they need a file, they'll get up and go find it and bring it back to their desk. Well, they're home now. They're not getting up and going to the desk, go and find it. So we're automating the process for them so that they can just go in with a couple of clicks as if they were sitting at their desk and grab the file and be able to work with it and collaborate with it and share it and modify it and complete it and get it into the workflow of the company. So we're, we're creating where people didn't have those workflows before. Actually, they'll have that when they come back to the office too. We use it. I mean, David always uses the term, we eat our own dog food, and it's true. We don't have a single paper document in our office. Everything is in documents. Paperless. You're a paperless printer company. Yeah, well, we, we create a lot of paper, but I mean, still, yeah. when, when, we, when we push a deal through, it's all step-by-step -step electronic. And it's, we can show it and sell it to the people very easily because we practice it ourselves. So it's been a really, really uh, cool feature that our clients are picking up on, and um, it's helping them. Yeah, That's I mean, it is. So, so essentially, if my wife's school district that she works in had DocuWare and a solution like you're talking about, then she wouldn't have to get in her car in a few minutes and drive 35 miles each way to go physically walk into her building to log into the network and get her documents and so she can come okay. work on them. To sit down at that desk when you get up and she'll yeah. get and she'll, she'll open the file and she'll grab the documents and if she wants to print them she can print them if she wants to just look at them if she wants to edit them whatever she needs to do well and i think I have, I think I have a good prospect for you because she, she's about to go drive 70 miles to go get three files so there you go there you go great program though you know and, it, and it's interesting to see how much more important something that you had on your shelf that was uh you know, critical to begin with is now just elevated and escalated and in, in, um, just how much we need it right now, right? And, totally. and we're all finding yes. new ways to work. We're all finding uh, uh, just leveraging technologies that we had around differently. This is a Zoom platform with these, uh, these interviews that I'm doing now. Uh, another example of, you know, something that's been around a long time that I just never really took advantage like this. So um, it's great to hear what you're doing for your, for your customers. Uh, one, before we wrap up, just a quick question. Uh, you did mention uh, DocuWare. You mentioned uh, Konica Minolta, obviously, is, a, is one of your big ones. Uh, Lexmark, I think, is another one you guys sell. So how, how have your vendors been as, in terms of support? Anything that you'd like to share? Any uh, thank yous? Anything that maybe you're not getting from the, just in general, from the OEMs without pointing out specifics that you might, um, you might appreciate from them? Uh, here's your chance to tell them. Well, I, I can tell you this, you know, we're not, you know, we're not a $150, $200 million dealer. We're a dealer in Buffalo, New York, but we're a single line dealer. We're kind of coming all And, you know, when we get a call and you pick up the phone and it's Rick Taylor on the phone, um, that means a lot. Uh, and he took the time to call us to make sure that, you know, our SAP systems running properly, that we're okay that they're in our corner and not to worry about a thing from the vendor standpoint, they're going to give us 100% support. You know, that was followed up by Sal Camilleri. And um, I mean, so like I said, we, we, we're a very faithful and loyal dealer, but uh, 
when you get the top shelf organization uh, giving you a call to let you know that everything's okay on their end and they're with you 100 percent they i mean you can't that feels you good. can't express that words yeah yeah so, uh, which uh which which essay which uh erp system was that you mentioned forza <laughs> I knew that. I just had to get it out there. So, uh, Al, thanks so much for spending some time with me, and, and we'll check in in a, in a, a couple of weeks. Just see how you're doing, how you're faring. Uh, hopefully, it won't last too long, and, and I'll be heading down the highway, down the thruway to go get me a steak with you at the uh, at the chop house. Well, folks, chop house. We're waiting for you, buddy. And bring your father with you. You know I will. You know I will. <laughs> take care. Be safe. Give David a hug, and we'll talk soon. Thanks so much, Andy. You take Bye -bye. care. Thank All you. Right. Bye. Bye. -bye.